Welcome back to the last video for this community. I promise, I promise, I'm for real. Let's continue. All you gotta do is say to look at this i did change the shared environment because it was way too washed out i love how they turned this into a crystal shop normally when i see this build it's a bar but not at evergarden equestrian community they have turned it into a crystal shop i love that they have all of the spiritual aspects to it being a spiritual girly i really really appreciate saying things like this um a lot of people try to um intertwine um spirituality with being in like like the occult and things like that and for me that's just really not what it is um i really really love that they are acknowledging that some people are spiritual and everyone can have their own sense of faith without discarding or discrediting another now i do know that there are a lot of times there are people who are like you know spirituality is this spirituality is that and basically like if you don't believe what i believe then then you're wrong and i don't believe that i definitely believe that you can believe in whatever or whomever or whoever or whatever you want to or not and that is okay as well i do love that um i love these lamps look how pretty these lamps are i do love that although this space has a very strong spiritual aspect to it they also have like this they have this blessed sign which intertwines the um traditional religion a religious aspect in my opinion to this shop as a whole and I really do love that. I feel like there is nothing wrong with being spiritual or religious. Um, of course, when you choose a faith um, or not, you have your reasons for that. But I feel like a lot of times um, people feel like religious people and spiritual people cannot coincide with one another. And I just I don't believe that that's true. I don't believe that that's true. Your beliefs um, can be different and you still be able to get along with another person who has a different belief than you. As long as you're not trying to force your belief or down someone else's belief, I feel like it's very easy for two people who have different beliefs to coincide with one another. I love these stones. So I made the lighting different because... Um, these were really, really washed out, was really, really washed out. And I wanted you to really be able to pick up the colors of the stones. I didn't even know that they were this beautiful um, initially when I changed the, um, as to why I was changing the color. But once I changed the colors, I was like, oh, these are beautiful because these stones looked white. The pink stones look white. But once I changed the color, you can see that they have like beautiful um, pink hues and things like that. These blues are really pretty. This, um moon rock is like iridescent has like an iridescent vibe to it it almost also has like gives me like stain a stained glass feel it says as above so below i love this space i love this space i have a lot of these um stones in real life and so i love this i love seeing um real life aspects in second life I really, really do because it just really lets you know that these, the creators are not, they're not coming up with these things like out of thin air. These are actually things that they're taking inspiration from real life and creating and, and putting their own little flair onto it. And I really, really love that about Second Life. I love that it is such a melting pot of creativity and everyone is open to learning new things and experiencing things that they may have never thought that they would even want to experience before. Um, just because peep, someone in Second Life brought it to their attention that this is something else that's going on and i really really like that this is one of my favorite things about second life is that you can come into this space and not have really any clue of what you're actually looking for or what you're actually expecting to get out of second life and you'll find so many wonderful things um in the process you'll meet so many great people and have so many unique experiences that i just feel like it just makes second life as a whole such a special place to be able to um explore and be able to just experience 
look at this beautiful stone beautiful stone they have lots of um citrine in here and i really really love that really really love that lots of um not citrine rose quartz that's what it is lots of rose quartz i have a lot i tell you a lot i have a lot of rose quartz lots and lots and lots of rose quartz i love rose quartz one of my favorite places to get um rose quartz from talking real life now you guys you know i flip flop is home goods home goods tj and tj maxx and marshall's they always have really really nice um stones they often have a lot of rose quartz i also love a good salt lamp also love a good salt lamp i believe this is obsidian i want to say i believe that's obsidian i'm still learning a lot about my stones and i love just like finding new stones and being able to like look up what the stones mean and things like that and so this is another aspect so we have like the religious blessed we have the spiritual stones and then we have um these things like um buddhist and things like that with the sound bowls i love sound bowls i have a sound bowl i absolutely love them and then this is like an altar this is giving me the feeling of an altar which is also like a spiritual aspect as well so they have like the lemons and things like that as well as the strawberries as like a altar gift that's what is that's what is giving me is is giving me um offering i love this oh how wonderful how wonderful is this oh and these are gotcha items can you get these for real like yeah so these like bottles and stuff these are like little gotcha items i love I love gotcha stores. It was difficult for me to um, really find a lot of gotcha stores once everybody messed up stuff. Broom only, no mops or vacuums. I said, listen, park your broom here. Again, it's giving like witchy vibes. So this is like the little, like a little potion when they have another really nice sitting space. I really, really love this. It's giving like a nice um, apothecary. I love this. Look at this. It is so nice. I love being able to just kind of like pan in on things and get to see like what all they have up here. The creators, they really, really thought things out when like they make a lot of these things like the potions and things like that. Look how nice this is. I love this. Then they have the little glass jars and things like that. So I love that they have this space um, created like this. Very cozy, has a really nice smoky type vibe to it. But then they also have these super bright um, pops of color. I really love this. I really love this. So they have like the little lemonade where one of them is like sugar free. This looks like you can buy a glass or I don't know if you can just like purchase this. If this is like a gotcha item, I'm not sure. They have more of the strawberry and strawberries and lemons and they have these little potion bottles or like perfume bottles. Look at how nice this is. I love the glass um, bottles, really, really pretty, very, very nice. So although this is like, it seems like a little sitting space, it's more like of a space if you wanted to come for like a psychic reading. That's what it's given with the tarot cards and things like that. If you wanted to come for like a spiritual reading, you would come here. They have all the little cards laid out so that you can have like a reader come and just tell you about yourself, tell you about your life. They have the Palo, uh, Palo Santos there to ward off any type of negative spirits, but they also have the pendulum to kind of help them along the way, getting like some, you know, some answers and some guidance from spirit. And they also have more of these beautiful crystals, beautiful, beautiful crystals. I love this. It is so pretty. They do have like a witchy aspect to it, which I do like that um, simply because we are going into um, 
getting closer to like the Halloween season and things like that. So they kind of make sure they did like a nice mix of everything. I'm very curious as to whether or not um, this is like a permanent fixture here or if they would like switch out some of the witchy aspects and kind of leave the um, spiritual places of um, the spiritual pieces here still. So this is like potions and they have lots of candles and little statues and things like that give a very like um a voodoo if you will if you will um i have my own views on voodoo i don't feel like i feel like it was it's very much so given a, a bad rep on purpose to deter people i really feel like that is the original um, religion of our people, if you will, or religion, like the original belief system of um, my people. That is just my feelings on that. And things kind of got a little skewed within the process through uh, other other um, means. So this is really nice. So I love, again, they have more of the um aspects of hoodoo voodoo with like the smudge itself and things like that this crystal shop is absolutely amazing i am really wondering if they're going to keep this as like a permanent um crystal shop fixture here I'm, i might have to come back and check it out a little bit they have beach over here y'all and i'm about to get my shoes wet so yeah i'll see y'all tomorrow